Ever since I was a kid, I've just been into cars. It's sort of like design, art, and engineering merging. This is insane. So I was super excited to direct Gran Turismo a film, which is based entirely on a true story. He comes from this giant sci-fi world of making these big epic movies, but he makes these very grounded stories within these big worlds. The whole goal is to try to take the audience on a ride that feels as large, but also as real as possible. You're gonna be forced to make split second decisions that could cost you your life. Working with Neil, I knew that the movie would have that visceral feel to it. We were working with actual cars, actual drivers, actual tracks. Being in the car, going at racing speeds is the most difficult thing I have ever done. We were super specific about when to be inside the cockpit versus outside the cockpit, because the outside will get this amazing particulate, either water or dust and glare that put you undeniably on the track. I can't see anything! We have drones going 160 miles an hour, spinning around the cars. Our FPV drones kind of give us the most vibrant in the middle of the action point of view. And then there's a very low slung camera on a remote head at the front of a high speed pursuit vehicle. Because of the fact that it's only a few inches off the ground, the speed is conveyed quite well. Everywhere you look, it's really authentic and vibrant. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Gran Turismo definitely is a big cinema experience, for sure. It looks very real, because the cars are real, the photography style is real, and the story's real. Get in the fight! Yes, so.